In this video tutorial, I will teach you how you can use the JDBC transaction management feature to group a transaction in a JDBC program. So you can group a set of SQL statements and then call the execute command. So all the transaction will be committed once or failed or if there is some error you can roll back the transaction first of all you have to connect to the uh, database for this first load the driver then connect to the database then call the auto commit false to start the transaction then you can execute the query like uh, uh, this is one query this is second query execute update first query execute update second query and execute the third query finally call the transaction dot commit so this way you can perform the database transaction and if there is some error while performing any of the query you can call the transaction dot rollback to roll back the transaction so First, create a new project, Java project, and name it JDBC transaction example one. Click next and then finish. Create a new folder, lib, and add the MySQL. JDBC jar file here. You have to add this it to the build path, add jar, then lib select lib and click OK. Now we'll create a new package. And create a new class. JDBC transaction example and OK. Import the Java JDBC library. So just added the try and cache block. Now we should copy this connection statement result set driver name driver URL database username password. Since our database is uh, JDBC example, we need to change the database name and just change the database name now uh, we have to load the driver we have loaded the driver here connected to the database and then call the set auto commit false this means the auto commit so the transaction is now off. Now we can execute the queries here. Just format the source code. It's much readable now. And first of all, we need to create a new table. 
So this is the SQL script. Since I already have a student table with some other structure, I just I am going to change it to student one, and this is student one table is now created. Then we have to change the name student one student one and select as strip from student one. This line uh, starts the transaction, then uh, query one, then query two, and then the third query is for select. We executed the first query, we execute the second query, then execute the third query, and finally call the function commit. So commit is going to commit all the transaction. And if you want to roll back the transaction, you can use this connection dot rollback. So we did done. We we actually don't want to roll back the connection here. So based on some logic, you can roll back the transaction here. And this is printing the data, which is already inserted into the database. So. Let's run the example and hopefully it should execute correctly. So data is inserted and there are two table records. One, two. Let's see in the database. Table data is here. Now we will just uh, delete the data. Uh, Truncate student one. So this will delete the data from a student table, student one table. No, we don't have any data now. Now we'll try to see how rollback works. So we are executing the same day. We are inserting these two records and finally calling the rollback. So it should roll back the transaction. And since this is within the commit block, uh, it is not. It is returning the data. Since so, for this we have to move it to the here. So you shouldn't. After this, it should not. Now it is not returning the data. So since it was in a commit, uh, into it was in the within the transaction. Data was inserted and uh, it was returning the data from record set. But here we have moved it to the after rollback. Now it is not returning the data. So this way you can perform the uh, transaction management in the in JDBC program. We have hundreds of tutorials on JDBC programming on our website. So you can visit here the website and learn the JDBC programming here. We have all the important tutorials of uh, JDBC. It includes almost all topics of the JDBC like insert statement, metadata, prepared statement, ODBC connection and in the JDBC here we have almost all the Tutorials of, of JDBC, data source, connection statement, prepared statement, callable statement, then result set, row set, and JDBC transaction, and so on. So visit our website and check all these tutorials. Thanks for watching the video.